were sitting in the Ted Mann Theater in the Academy Museum, one of two theaters that we have in the museum. We also have the David Geffen Theater. And these are two theaters that when we open, we'll screen films, host panel discussions, symposia. Our core exhibition, The Stories of Cinema, is a three-story exhibition that dynamically moves you through the history of cinema. Film is a collaborative art form. And we thought one beautiful way to talk about that is to pick one film and devote a gallery to exploring all of the craft areas, the artists, the science that went into making the film. And we're opening uh, with the gallery devoted to The Wizard of Oz. Toto, I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. And as you move through the space, you'll learn about how the film was made through the lens of the artisans and professionals that create the masterpiece that we know today. In the museum, we have two galleries within our core exhibition, Stories of Cinema, devoted to the Oscars and the history of the Academy Awards. One beautiful cylindrical room, floor to ceiling gold, will highlight 20 significant Oscars wins, starting with Sunrise, and going up to Barry Jenkins' best screenplay win for Moonlight. That room is connected to a much larger room that walks you through the history of the Academy Awards on a large table, and you'll be surrounded by key Oscars acceptance speeches, starting with Hattie McDaniel going to present. I sincerely hope I shall always be a credit to my race and to the motion picture industry. My heart is too full to tell you just how I feel. Uh, so you'll be able to learn uh, about significant wins, snubs. We talk about Oscars so white, lack of female representation, uh, and we celebrate uh, the Oscars in a way that I think will speak to people who know us and people who don't. Don, the Academy is almost 100 years old, and we've made so much incredible change. Where do you see the Academy going? Where will we be in 25 years? Where will cinema be in 25 years? You know, if you if you think about the evolution of film, but I, I think there'll be some things that stay the same about film. I think in 25 years, we will be gathering. We'll be gathering in cinemas, and we'll be gathering to see, uh, experience one thing an entire audience experience one thing at the same time, a membership that is truly reflecting our world. I think more artists will have access uh, to making films. More women, more diverse filmmakers will have access. We will see different kinds of stories. And we'll continue to tell those stories in the Academy Museum, both in our theaters and in our gallery spaces, and virtually as well. You will be able to see the work the Academy, the preservation work we do. We have an incredible library with millions of photographs and scripts and film posters and costume design drawings and so much in our Academy library. Also in 25 years you will know more about that we are invested in this film culture and a part of the film culture 365 days. I think most people know this but the Academy has the world's largest film-related collection, and we will be able to bring that collection to life in beautifully curated moments throughout the museum. Uh, and Ariane Phillips, amazing costume designer who's worked on Hedwig and The Angry Inch, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, she's donating many costumes from films that she's worked on. So we're growing our collection, uh, and we can't wait to bring these objects and these items that tell the story of how cinema is made to the world. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great, Don. It's extremely exciting to be in the museum in our beautiful Ted Mann Theater. Uh, and I, I think it's a, a sign of hope for the future. What is your first memory of seeing a movie in a theater? 
you know, I'll talk about Pedro Almodovar. As a young gay man, Matador, Love, Desire, some of his earlier films showed me a world that I didn't know existed. And they really opened my eyes to um, a queer culture that I had not yet seen. The Academy is really looking at diversity and inclusion holistically. Thank you very much, Shirley. This is a very proud and a very happy moment. We're telling diverse stories. We're telling inclusive stories. And I think what's so interesting about this moment in time is that the world is expecting that and is ready for it, we hope. But the Oscars, the Academy, are also thinking about the future and change. And, and I think the Academy Gold program is another key part of that. The Academy Go program really encompasses a lot of initiatives at the Academy, all designed to find talent, nurture talent, and give people more mentorship access. And it's been exciting over the years. If you're representing excellence in filmmaking, you have to represent excellence across the board. And that's what uh, the Oscars are striving to do. And that's what our film industry is striving to do. And I know the museum is already reflecting that. And the museum is also thinking in that way. And our K through 12 Shirley Temple Education Studio will be working with Academy members to teach the arts and sciences across all craft areas. I think that speaks to the power of the Academy beyond just the Academy membership.